aspects of the joint air operations exercise. Predominantly, most geoaxes are focused on the Air Force Army interaction. Uh, this one in particular was us in the 82nd Airborne, in particular the 2nd and 3rd BCTs. Dias, we were the lead planners and also we brought the uh, largest contingent of people and aircraft. We brought in 231 Dias air crew maintainers and support staff. And uh, most noticeable was probably the 20 C-130Js that we brought to the package. Overall, there was 27 aircraft, so there was three C-17s from other bases. But a majority of the lift was provided by C-130Js from Dias. JOX as a whole is uh, a exercise not only for the Army, but also for us to just continue to improve our skills. In particular, flying in large formations, working uh, lots of airdrops, and uh, pushing a very tight timeline for air land delivery for, uh, in a large mass exercise. Uh, basically for contingencies or future deployments. This training is very important. I mean, I've learned a lot since I've been out here because we actually get to see more of the real world type things that we actually drop. Like, we get to load up the Humvees, we get to load up different uh, platforms that at home station we don't really get the opportunity to because we're limited as far as what we have there. Whereas in coming out here, there's a, like the entire gamut of things that we would drop operationally. It all works together well. It's been workload-wise, it's been pretty heavy, but it makes it all worth it. When you get to see the planes flying, come back, know that we're doing something that's good. You don't get that feeling of. I really did something important very often in this job, especially stateside. This is one of those few instances where you get that weird feeling down deep that it could make a difference at some point in time.